All right, I'm back doing yet another T-Mobile video. And I can't believe I have to keep putting these things out. I think at this stage that I'm in it for the long haul. And you guys have been, if you guys have been watching my videos, you've been with me since my very first video where I was excited to talk about T-Mobile. I was really happy with their customer service and how I was treated. And now things have just gone so far down the toilet that, I can't believe it. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my last video, I'm going to leave a link for it in the video below uh, in the description. But I can't believe what has happened. Uh, I've had to talk to them two more times since that last call. And to this, I, I am going to be speaking with a lawyer at this stage. I, I just literally cannot believe what has gone on. So when I got done with the last phone call, and the device was not working that they sent to our house. Uh, they, you know, I had no confidence that it was going to work, that they were going to be able to turn it back on, and that I would have to speak with them again. Well, I ended up getting a, a, actually a text. My wife and I were outside. I was doing some yard work last Friday. And, well, not this Friday, but a week and a half ago. Uh, we were out doing some, well, we were working on the car, actually. And... <laughs> We both get this text saying, your device has now been ordered. You will see new charges on your account soon. And I explicitly told T-Mobile, I do not want another device sent to my house. I do not want to deal with their exchange. No way, no how. Having the cops called on me, doing exactly what I was told, still getting charged for it, getting charged a couple days early. Like There were so many problems. I said, I do not want to do that. And I made that very clear to them on the phone. But yet they ordered a new device. So I called down there and I was told, well, we figured it'd be faster because we can't turn the other one on. So we have no choice but to send you a new device. So Monday rolls around and I wasn't happy about it. And, and I told them that I really even shouldn't need a device. Like I should have service. If I'm paying for service, I better have it. And uh, that I was so irritated at this stage. Like it's getting to the point of being ridiculous. And so they said it would be shipped out to me and that they promised, the girl that I spoke to promised this would go much smoother than anything else I've done in the past. And she would even call me back later in the following week to make sure that I received it and that everything was good to go. I got an email that the device is being shipped, but I got no return label. Like this was not going to go as smooth as I thought. And I, well, as they said, it was going to go. So Monday rolls around. Then I get a text saying there's this massive data breach over at T-Mobile. And a lot of people's information has been, been spread out. And, and sure enough, T-Mobile sends me a thing saying, yeah, your information was compromised. Like freaking A, people. I, I don't know what's going on with T-Mobile, but they've got some problems. And it gets worse. Because I do get the new device and I immediately hook this thing up and I'm immediately getting the other one packed up to take back. I have no return label. Uh, no return label was sent, nothing in email, nothing. So I'm like, yeah, this is going to cause another phone call. So Thursday rolls around and I'm busy with work. And I told them when they called that, I, you know, that it's going to be hit and miss when they call me, if they're going to be able to get a hold of me. And I had to put stuff off and I was finally able to talk to them. And I had to put one of my clients on hold while I did this because I recorded the call because I'm going to be sending all of this stuff off to a lawyer at this stage. And I specific, also, I specifically asked her, for people who want to know, I specifically asked them because I've had a lot of people in my comments make the, you know, make the statement that if you get better, you know, a higher tier service with them, your service will get better. They specifically told me that does not happen. It does not matter what level you are on. You should get the exact same cell service no matter what happens. Uh, they said the only thing is the data caps and the throttling if you're on any one of the other levels. So I got that recorded on a call. So they can't take that back. So I'll, I'm betting if I get lawyers involved, they'll get to the bottom of that as well because I'm not willing to change my plan because we get a great deal as it is, but we're also getting the shittiest service you can possibly envision. And I'm tired of it. I can't use it. For my business, I can't use it to make regular phone calls to friends. We can't use it for anything at this stage. Like, I am really getting irritated. And so I get the new device and I plug it in. It doesn't work. 
It does not work. The freaking light just keeps blinking. It will not connect. I use that same internet cable on another device to make sure it was working. I've got the GPS hooked up. Everything is working, but the device is not working. So I had to talk to them on Thursday. I had to ask them to send me a return label, which was finally done when I talked to the tech expert. I've got it in the email. The other device is going back this week. At the same time, I asked them about why this device is not working. They said, well, did you check the cables? Did you? I went through the whole list. Like, I'm, I'm a tech guy. I understand how this stuff works. I did everything that they were going to ask. And I said, I've gone through the checklist. It's not working. They said, all right, hold on a sec. Let's check something. They come back a few minutes later, come to find out these new Motorola devices that they're rolling out to everybody, these version two of these cell spots, they're not working. They've got this mass ticket. I forget what he called it. It's, it's like some atomic ticket. I don't know. But they're working on it. He said, it may not work for weeks. What the hell? You're sending out devices that don't even work. I, I am like, what do I do at this stage? So I, I had some friends. I made a comment about this on Facebook. I had some friends who actually have sued both T-Mobile and Sprint. And I'm going to be talking to the same lawyers that they talk to because I'm tired of the extra charges. I'm tired of it being accused of not paying my bill. I'm tired of getting you know, the cops called on me when I'm in the store trying to, to return a device that's theirs that I was told to bring into the store. Like, I'm done. I'm done. And I am going to continue to make these videos as things happen. I'm going to keep you guys updated. When I'm done talking with a lawyer, the only thing that's going to hold me back is if they say I can't say anything. And the only reason I have not posted any of the calls that I have recorded is because I don't want that to compromise a case that may be coming down the line. But I have had it. T-Mobile has no idea who they're dealing with. I don't let things go. Most people would have given up at this stage or just changed services. I'm not like that. I don't let things go. If, if, and this is why these companies get away with something because, because people are not willing to stick with it and show these companies that they're in the wrong. And I'm not going to let this go. I'm in it for the long haul. And as things happen, I will be updating my videos. I do appreciate everybody sticking around. There will be more videos coming down the line. I guarantee it. Even if it's something coming in saying I can't talk about it anymore, I will keep you guys updated as things happen. So I do appreciate the support. Please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you will be notified as I have new videos go up. And you could check out the other six videos I already have in this T-Mobile video series, and there is going to be more. So I will see you guys on the next video.